happy Easter there, everybody. HCK, YouTube. Hope everybody's doing good today. Trying to get this camera straight. Change the room around a little bit. So I could do the Zoom classes. Everybody's really doing good today. It's our flying workout for Easter Sunday. You guys ate earlier. You can work it off now, or if you haven't eaten yet, like I haven't, then you can build up your appetite. We're going to do uh, quite a few things today, a lot of basic things that we same do. We're going to go over the four books, of course. Um, Sidekick, round kick, glitz, reverse punch. Put some combos together that I was kind of messing with yesterday. Every day is a training day. You know what I mean? All this time that we've had off, people have had any time off. They're like, oh, but it's Easter. Every day is just it's a day. Okay? Just every get your training in every day. You guys are martial artists. You should be training on the daily. Martial artists don't train. All right. Get your kicks on if you need them on. If you got kicks. If you don't, it's fine. Get your bag out. If you need your bag. We'll be doing some things on the bag today. Bob's got our, our, our No Fear shirt on today, representing. And we'll get started in just a second. So go ahead and give me a minute of jumping jacks. One minute of jumping jacks. The ball goes off every 30 seconds. One minute. Go. Perpetually caught off guard all the time, no matter how much I prepare. Also, we're going to do some speed bag. So, we got a speed bag ready for that. If you don't have a speed bag, you should be investing in one. Excellent for hand speed, keeping your shoulders up. I mean, right now, it's time on your jumping jacks. Like, put your hands straight up in the air, reach them out. Down, grab your toes, keep your legs straight, don't bend your knees. Up, reach for the sky, come up on your tiptoes. Back down, try to go to your knuckles. Legs straight, back up, tiptoes. This time when you're down, try to touch your palms to the floor. Again, don't bend your knees, keep your legs straight. We'll do a couple stretches today to get warmed up. If you don't have one of these, make one. They're easy to make. Right? That's your wood laying around. Well, on a 35 degree angle, set it up against the wall. You just stand straight on it. Stretches your calves out. Okay, make sure your body's straight. If you're not crooked, try to get your heels all the way down. Body posture, how your glutes are, how your knees are, determines a lot how your back feels. You know, so make sure that your, your posture is right. Again, the bell's going off every 30 seconds. Grab your Shin, grab your instep, pull it past the plane of your leg, right? Really stretching the top of those quads. Keep stretching. Switch legs. Grab the other, grab the instep. Pull past your leg.
Well, it's fine. If you have a jump rope, grab a jump rope. If you do not have a jump rope, I think they're like three dollars at Walmart. Go get one. Okay. Rope work is important. What we do because it's timing, stamina, all that, and you make sure you have your kicks on. When we're moving around the ring, we have kicks on. We're doing all that moving, so we want to make sure we get used to movements with our kicks on. Okay. We're gonna do thirty seconds really fast. All right, go. Uh, if you mess up, just step in front of it. Start again. 30 seconds. Good. Now, arm circle, big circles. Bring it in, pass the elbow, pull. Same thing, other side, pull. Put your hand on a wall or on your target. Lean away from it. Grab your jump rope again, 30 seconds. Go. Mess up, sit right in front of it, start over. Good. If you don't have a speed bag, you can use a target, right? You can use the wall, the air. If you got a partner, you're lucky. Partner can hold their hands up. When we're doing these workouts, make sure your water's close by, everything you need, towels, hold it up. Always hit the speed back with gloves on. Makes my hands heavier. Next bell, we'll go. You know, this worked out with Pablo, the WKC workout. It was pretty good. He did some blitz drills. Nice little warm up to do. So again, I'm gonna do 30 seconds each side. Start with single hands. Then the next round we do, we'll do doubles. Ready? Four, three, two, one, go. seconds each side a minute total cut down on times of the workouts okay. grab your bags if you have one well, the drills we start out with our offense and defense okay. so you do offensive side kicks which are your side kicks 
D sides, offensive reverse punches, which means I'm going forward. Defensive reverse punches. Blitzes, shoot my front hands, jab cross for defense. Um, round kicks, when I'm stationary, I'm just going to keep different targets. When I'm going forward, I'm going to change it up where I go ahead of body. Next 30 seconds, we'll go. We're going to start with blitzes. We're going to start with defense and be jab cross. Jab, jab, double jabs. I'll throw my hooks in there. Then I have to stay in one spot, move around the bag the whole time. Make sure you're keeping your hands up, that you don't bring them back down after punching. Now, glitches, some distance, you can shoot these. Again, I'm going into the bag, not beside it. Second rest. Next, we'll go to side kicks. I want to make sure I keep all my side kicks above my belt level. I'm going to do offensive, which means I'm going to slide. Then defense. Good. You start with offense, slide in, up, pick your leg up first, and then move in. Right? Up, up, and fire. Don't step up. Up. Change your ranges. Up. Up. D sides. You don't have to cross away every time. Just gonna have to do it. Don't turn your backs off. Okay? Next, we'll do offense, defense, reverse punches. If you got puzzle maps at home, those are the best to work on. I think you can get them at Walmart pretty cheap, become little packs. Some kind of padded floor is always better to work on. Again, reverse punches, we're going to do defense. Up, so stationary. Up, up. Reach my hand out. I like to grab their shoulder, then strike. Pivot. Up, 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 up. I'm not doing the high block. That'll give me run over. Shoot it from different ranges. Oh, an easy range, a little harder. Oh, and then harder still. I'm so far away that I have to take a step. Make sure that I'm turning my back foot so I can push and not drive it. Oh, oh. 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 Next, we have brown kicks. Not really a defensive brown kick, so I'm just going to be close where I don't have to slide in and pop them off. Okay? Um, ones with slides. I will make my first kick always look like a 
sidekick. So I go body, head, body, head, making sure my foot is flat and I don't come up on the ball with my foot when I'm kicking. Knock me off balance and I lose my power, okay? Body, head, head. All right, watching your balance and your hand placement. You mix them up a little bit. Up. Offense. So if I'm fairly close, I'll just pop it quick. Up. If I'm further away, I make the first kick. Up. Looks like I'm going to throw a side kick so they don't come in on it. Okay? So that was our blitzes, reverse punches, side kicks, and round kicks. Those are your four books, four books of point fighting. Got to know those books well for everything else to come together well. Take this minute, get you some water, try to find us a better soundtrack. Typically, if I'm hitting the bags hard, I like to find some metal, something hard. If I'm doing a bunch of moving around, something more with a beat to it. Just depends on your preference, I guess. I don't pre screen everything. So if the songs are crazy, I might have to stop the switching. Good, you guys should be just about done with your water. Man, everything has got way lots of customer stuff in it. All right. Now, we're going to get into some drills. A lot of things just to make your hand speed faster, to get your kicks faster. We'll do some multiple kicks today because we didn't really do them the other day. Putting together multiple kicks at different levels. I always want to be changing my level. Uh -oh. That way I'm always keeping my opponents guessing. Not doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. So we're gonna start with doubles, and then go into triples, and then adding our hands up in there. So doubles would be, I'm gonna slide on all these, my first one's gonna be a slide, not the second one because the target's not moving. All right, so I'm gonna slide with my first one, the second one will be stationary. First we'll do side round, and then round side. So we'll get you some distance from it. Again, don't step up, don't cross your feet, right? So Side round, and we'll do round side. Okay, my side kicks are not always going to extend because I came so close with the round kick. And just trying to make contact, hit the target hard, I'm not trying to knock it down. Now, if I had a partner or something I could hit through and that would move with me, that would be a little bit better. I could kick through things. Okay, so side round, round side. Now I'm going to do double tap, double tap round kick, a little high round kick. Okay. Hook round side, <laughs> side hook round, <laughs> that's it. Now I would follow it up with my hands. Whichever target my foot hit last, my hands will go to the next target. So if I did 
side round. My last take went to the head, so my hands will go to the body. Okay? Side round. Now round side. Since my last my foot was on their body last, my hands go to the head. Okay, and so on, so on. So if I do my double tap round, rope to the body. Low high. Body. Hook round side. Side hook round. The body. Now we're going to triple them up. Triple them up. So side, round side is what we're going to start with. Remember the first kick is going to be a slide. The other two will be stationary. If you wanted to, if you wanted to miss, you can miss the first two kicks. So if I'm doing side, round, side, right? I can do side, round, side to the air. But I don't like to make contact with the back. So right now we're just going to make contact. I'm only going to slide the one time. So we're going to side, round, side, side, round, side, oh. to the head is where the shot goes. Okay. Now it's round, side, round, round, side, round, oh. to the body. Double tap side oh, oh, oh. to the head. Low high round side oh, 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 oh. to the head. Hook round side round. Oh, 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 oh. To the body. Side hook round side. Oh, 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 oh. To the head. Now, we're going to do those all again. I'm going to do them all without hands, and I'm going to do them all with hands. There we go. So start side round. Oh, oh, side round. Then we go round side. Oh, oh. Hook round side. Oh, oh. Side hook round. Oh, oh, oh. Double tap. Oh, oh. Low high. That's it. Now I'm going to triple my kicks up. All right? First, we'll start side round side. All right? Side round side. We'll close to that one. Round side round. Double tap side. Low high side. Hook round side round. Oh my, I've been punching that. Side hook round side. Now we're going to put strikes together with all of them. So, first one is side, round, side. The shot will go to, I mean, first one is side, round. The shot will go to the body. My last kick is to the head. Okay? Hold on, I fixed these last night. So, starting with side, round, body shot. Side round, hook, oh, body. Now, when I'm doing the uh, body shots after kicks, I'm not doing the follow up 
camera strike. So I'm not going bam, bam. And there's time for that, but now I'm just worried about getting the body punch in. Round side, let's the head. All right, double tap, go high, hook round side, side hook round, Now we're going to do triple our kicks up, hands attack the last, the opposite body part of my foot was up. So start with side round side, all right, side round side, hook, head, round side round, round side round, body, double tap side, hook, 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 ahead, low high round side, Hook, hook, hook. hook round, side round. Hook, hook. Side hook round side. Hook, hook, hook. Good. Now, if you're watching, you can't remember all these. You can write them down. Or just take the video back. Let's see if anybody's on here. Go on here. Pop or something. Let me know. Do it live. Multiple kicks. Now we're gonna do a little whip stroll. Actually, before we do the whip stroll, we're gonna work on that jump back back fist. So again, when I'm doing my jump back back fist, I want to aim my back fist. I just don't want to swipe and swing it at all crazy. I want to aim. Be sure I'm aiming, aiming, aiming. Okay. When I'm doing it, I'm not going to just swing crazy. That'll leave me open afterwards. I'm directly aiming my shots where I want it to go. Let's say this number two is where I want my shot to go. Okay. I'm going to get close. That means my hands are going to be tight. Okay. Our LB guards. LB, right, protects. When I jump back, right, I want to turn my shoulder like I'm going to take off. Right, bring my front foot in, move my hips away, and smack the target. So we're gonna do that five times. So when I key up, you're gonna jump back to the target. Ready? One, back pass, ready? Two, three, four, and last one, ready? Five, right? Now, if I'm doing this on a, with a partner and I have a pad and I can really move, okay? When I'm there, I'm going to really turn, oh, do a big jump back so I can get my back fist off, okay? Now, we're going to do that same thing. We're gonna jump back back fist. When I land, though, I'm gonna do an offensive reverse punch as soon as I land, okay? So, Again, I'm going to jump back back this. As soon as my feet touch, I'm going to take off with the rope with the body punch. Okay, so again, really close. When I key up, jump back back this, then body punch. Ready? One, ready? Two, Oh, three. Oh, four. 
One more. Hey. Oh, five. I'm starting to use that jump back a lot more. It's pretty good. If somebody has a high block when they come in, it's hard to get around. That's where you got to mix up your defenses. Okay. So jump back. Back, this is one defense. D sides are our other defense. We already did some when we did our uh, four books. Now we're going to go over how to drill it to get a little faster at it. Okay. Well, you tuned in the other day. I went over some D side drills for you guys. First, I'm just going to do five D sides. Okay. I like to get close, get my hand on the target if I can kick it from here. That means I can usually get the kick off when somebody is blitzing in or reverse punching at me. So I'm fairly close. Again, I don't want to turn my body when I'm throwing my kick. I'm going to get me hit all in the back of the head. Okay, my object of a defensive side kick is to disrupt their movement. Unlike a back kick, say, that would be to hit them. My knee is pointing down. You can push through it. I know guys who love the back kick. I'm not a fan. Just like the D sides, okay? My knee's up high. Put your hand on it. Ready? Two, five. Hey! One, two, don't let your front hand go below your leg when you're kicking. Keep it up in front of you the whole time. Three, four, and five. Now, since a defensive side kick is a reaction drill, or a reaction movement, we make sure that we want to work on our reactions, making our reactions good. So a couple ways we do that. We do the one where we can stand off the knee. This is one we'll do first. Then we'll do uh, two others. So I start, right, facing the back, touching the back. I'm going to go down to my knee. As soon as my knee touches, I'm going to stand back up and be side. So again, right here, so short version of it. I touch, as soon as my knee touches, I step back up, side kick, okay? Ready? Get on the target, ready? Hup. Now, I'm not using my hands to push up off my leg to get up. I'm standing straight up, using my quads, my muscles, my push muscles to stand up. I'm not doing any help with it, okay? Ready? Okay. Two, three, four, and last one, five, nice. Now, if you want to increase your time with it, get faster, you can change your ranges. The further I get away from it, I touch my knee, the more time I have, the closer I get, the harder it is to get. Now, moving on. I want to jump up, touch my knees to my hands. As soon as I land, I'm throwing that D side. Okay? So again, here I'm gonna jump up, bring my knees to my hands, not my hands down to my knees. Okay, I want to work the push, I want to work the jump, hitting my legs. So we're gonna do five of those. It's up. As soon as you land, D side. One, two, three, four, one more, and five. Good. Now, Adding on to the knee touch, I'm going to do a burpee. That's right, you heard me. A burpee in between, and then uh, I guess nobody's on watching me. Burpee in between, jump up, touch my knees. As soon as I land, I'm going to be side. Okay. <sighs> So 
So again, I'm going to go down burpee. Up here, when I jump, knees, deep side kick as soon as I land. All right? We have five of those. Ready? Go. One. Now when I'm doing my D size, like I said at the beginning, even when I'm adding those extra things in, I don't want to get sloppy and start turning my back off, okay? I don't want my knee to angle down. It's going to be easy to push through. So the power of the kick is in your knee. If your knee is bent and you're not extending, then your power is getting jammed up right there. But just like a... Uh, Just like this towel where it whips, right? The energy, when I whip it, is at the end of the towel. It's coming out in the whip, right? So the same thing happens with my kicks and punches. Okay, if I'm kicking forward, bam, and I stop and not pushing forward anymore, I just trap all my power there, okay? I want it to go out the end of my foot. So when I move in, oh, pushing it out the other side. Same thing with my strikes. Okay, if I'm striking and I hit here and my elbow is all bent, I just trapped it all there. Okay, I want my strike to all my power to come out the end of my hand. So when I strike, I push it through. Okay, so make sure that you just not all the time hitting things with bent up knees and elbows. So that was two counters. I'm going to jump back like this. D side kicks, we got one more counter. It is reverse punch, reverse punch. So we're gonna do reverse punches. Now, I see everybody fighting with their hands down. Even my guys in here have to constantly get onto them about their hands, they all fight from here. And that's not bad if I'm this far away from them. And then I can kind of put my hand down. It's going to need a rifle to hit me from here, okay? Or, or do some kind of amazing stuff. But the closer that I start getting to the target, the more my hand should start coming up, okay? The closer I get, the more my hand should be up. I don't want to be this close and my hand be down, right? I can get hit anytime he wants to, okay? And I can't bring my reaction time is not fast enough to bring my hand up. The other thing, I don't want to have my guards tight all the time either. Okay, that means like I've got them locked in. The time that they try to hit me and I block, I've already been hit. So I need to create some space. Space creates time. Time gives you reaction, okay? Space creates time, time gives you reaction. All right, so our reverse punches. If somebody is coming strong and I have the, the distance and the opportunity, I need to step back and punch. Okay, always want to step offline a little bit. What I mean by offline is my feet. So my feet are in line right now. Okay, so that's kind of like walking a tightrope, right? If I turn to punch like that, huh? Right, and they come forward, they're going to bowl me over. Okay, I'm not going to be braced off enough to, to stop the attack. So in the habit of when you throw it, I turn my front foot out a little bit. Now you can see my back foot is not in line with my front foot. It's slightly off, instead of like this. Okay, no tight ropes, slightly off so you can get your punch off. And that's bracing. The other thing I don't want to do, I don't want to duck my head down and punch like this. People try to dip out of the way of a punch and throw the reverse punch. One, I didn't pivot on my punch. Two, it didn't take me anywhere, and now I'm off balance, okay? 
And if they come in hard and my leg is this way, right, my knee going to the side like that is not good, okay? So I want to turn and pivot. I'm do side view, right? So when I turn, pivot into the punch, okay? Whether I'm doing offense or defense. So the first thing we're going to do is a step back, right? So here, fairly close, they shot. I'm going to step back, pow, strike, right? One, two, three, four, five. Good. Stepping back with it, okay? Um, that's pretty much it for, for reverse punches. I'm not really I'm not going forward because it's not an offensive motion, it's defense. Okay? So I just want to shoot it, I can block afterwards. Now those are your counters. Those counters are good for the block counter, the defense, is good for front hand attacks. Okay? I'm throwing my front hand, you block it up, you strike to the body. I don't want to play percentages if somebody's reverse punching forward at me. I don't want to reverse punch them. Um, it's just who gets there is the first. Some there's a lot of clashes. Judges call points both sides. I hate that, but they do it. So I don't want to play percentages with them. I want to get points, rack points up on the board. All right. The other one is the D side. The D side should stop them. It should stop their momentum. If I throw a D side, bam, and they crush it and hit me, more than likely the judges are going to call that forward momentum. Okay, then they're not going to call the D side if it didn't disrupt them. A lot of judges won't call D sides if they're not fully extended. Not saying that it won't do damage. They just don't like the kicks that are not extended. So whenever you're kicking on your bags, right, like the heavy bag and, and this bag, if I'm doing single kicks, not like the doubles, I'm always trying to kick through the bag. What I mean by through the bag is this isn't my target. All right, so these have numbers on it. Two, five, and eight on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, four, seven, and ten facing you. On this side is three, six, nine. So opposite is the two. Okay? Three, two. I'm not trying to strike the three. I'm trying to strike the two on the other side. I always want to go through the target. Okay? I'm not just trying to hit it. Okay? There are occasions where I do pop jabs, like huh, just to pop it. If that is not hitting through the target, I mean, there's different situations, different things. But generally, if I'm driving, I want to go through the target, not just hit it, okay? So counters, we did jump back, we did B-side, we did reverse punch. Now, the offense for those. Okay, you can do a jump back back fist on a blitz or a offensive reverse punch. It doesn't really matter. It kind of depends on the attacker, how they start putting their hand placement. Okay? So I'm going to throw five blitzes, right? I'm going to throw three different back fist fists. I don't throw a back fist again. I don't wear my hand back. That takes too long. If you do this... That's precious seconds and your face is wide open. I don't like that move. So when I'm throwing my back fist, so I call back fist, I don't pull my hand back and swing it. I punch straight ahead. It's more like a driving jab or a power jab is what Raymond called it. So first, I'm going to lean in and pop it. So this I'm at the very end of my range, right? I'm not driving through. This is one of those pop hits. I'm just going to lean in. Pop, come back, right? One, two, three. If you're not comfortable, you can protect that rib as you go in. Four and five. The next one, I'm going to step in. Pop, pop. Cam uses this one a lot. He's pretty good at it. Okay, and for heavyweight, he will knock the crap out of you. So it's just a step in. Pop, pop, pop. All right? Two, three, four, and five. The next one, they call it a dive bomb blitz, right? I am shooting the blitz. I'm offensive from shooting forward. I can't lean in and hit it. I can't step in and hit, right? So I have to shoot to cover this distance. If I step off and do it, right? Okay. 
hit right here. Right, wherever you stop at in front of somebody, that's where you're going to get hit at. So if I step to hit every time, that's where I'm going to get hit. So I'm driving this one through. When I do my blitzes, when I'm moving, I always keep my foot kind of out of quarter turn so I can push off and go. Just like if somebody told you to get ready, we're going to race, right? You would turn your back foot, follow your foot, heel up so you can push. It's the same way the blitz works, okay? I'm going to mighty sets, a little bit wider on my shoulders. All right, bend my knees, huh, and shoot it, right? Again, one, huh, two, you can go head, head, or you can go head, body, um, switch it up sometimes, right? Huh, huh, three, four, and one more, huh, huh, that was fine. fine. Notice that I'm going into the target every single time. I'm not doing my blitz in beside the targets. I don't want to go beside people. I want to go into them. Okay. Now the other one, we already did reverse punches. Defense. Offensive reverse punch is where the D side comes into play. Okay. So once again, I can't just turn and hit it. I have to cover the space fairly quickly. Again, I'm going to turn my back foot push when I can't get any more at the end is when I'll cross but not the four I just don't want to step and cross okay I'm gonna get kicked really hard like that so we're gonna shoot five offense reverse punches good shoot huh. again I'm going into the target not around it one up two three Four, one more, five, nice. So those are the attacks for the jump back, the D side, and reverse punch, okay? We did offense and the defensive moves. Now, put together a little back fist drill, okay? Um, Bailey did these at winter camp, I like this a lot. I made up some the other day, yesterday, that are a little different, we'll do them later on. So first one, I'm going to lean in, ha, strike. Then I'm going to step in, hit, then I'm going to shoot it in, ha, ha, jump back, ha, as soon as I land, reverse punch, okay? So again, I'm going to lean in, ha, step in, ha, shoot it, ha, ha, jump back, whoa, Reverse punch, okay? We're gonna do five of those. Boom in succession, really fast. As soon as you get back, start the next one. Don't do one and walk back and wait and be slow, right? As soon as I finish one, do the very next one, okay? Five of them in total, ready? Go. That's one. Three. Four. Last one. And five. Work your speed. Of course, working your stamina. We got some later I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add some kicks into. Okay. Now, let's get into some footwork. You don't see a lot of heavyweights use a lot of footwork. There's a reason for that. But a lot of the lightweight guys like Speedy, um, my brother Juan, Hope, even at times, a lot of footwork. They're really fast with it. Okay. A kicker has a hard time getting their foot on somebody who moves around a lot, okay? <clears throat> they cannot get the beat on them that they need to get the kicks off. So we're gonna go over basic footwork with the cone. If you don't have a cone, you can use 
You can use a glove. You can use uh, anything that you can set down in front of you. It doesn't have to be a comb. I'm just using the combs as well. I got combs. Okay, so comb. This is a drill of Jotties from forever ago. Still viable though. And it is the start of our footwork in the squares. Okay, we're gonna count it off. This one throws a couple of fakes in. Right. I'm in front of the cone, I start in front of the cone. Once I finish, I will not be back in front of the cone. Okay, so one, I pick my knee up high, slightly behind me to drive. Two, three, four, five. Okay, again, ready? One, two, three, four. Oh, well, that's four moves, not five. Okay. Again, nice and slow. Make sure you're in front of the cone. I'm trying to get right with the camera. The knee's slightly bent. We don't want to stand around with our legs locked out. And so it's one, two, three, four. Okay. Now on the back side of that. All right, to get back, okay, I'm going to, I'm just going to do one, two, three, four again, ready? One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Now, five, I'm going to put my front hand out a little and slide my foot straight back. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now I'm on the other side of the cone. So I'm going to go drive here. So I'm not stepping. I'm picking my front leg up. Pushing down and driving. One, two, three, four. My hand comes up. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, eight movements. Again, my knee comes up high. I push. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. My heel wants to go straight back. If I turn my heel in, it's going to take me closer past the cone. Of course, if I go back, it's going to take me further away. I want to stay right where I'm at for right now. So again, one time really slow, we'll start speeding it up in front of your cone. So feet, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay, that one's slow. Now we're gonna do it a little faster. One, two, I'm gonna do it at the same time. One, two, right, three, four, five, six, right? Five, six, seven, eight, again. Okay, now I'm on this corner, I'm gonna get back to the other side. One, two, huh, huh. three, four, huh, huh. five, six, seven, eight, okay. Now I'm going to put one, two, three, four all together. Okay? Ready? One, two, three, four. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Six. All right, all together. Again, nice and slow. One, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, different guys call different footwork different things. So if my front foot is coming past the cone, but my back foot isn't moving, we call that a hard fake, okay? Soft fakes are just my hands moving, okay? Some guys, I uh, know K Swift and them, they call the step, they call this a soft fake. And this, a hard fake, okay? This to me is committing, you're committing. I move both feet, I'm committed. Okay, so once I've committed, I have to do something. If I just touch, then I'm not having committed. If they come forward, I can still get back out. If I've committed, huh, I'm going to have to get out both feet or I'm going to have to defend before you attack. Okay, so it just depends on where your camp's from, who you're training with. They just call it different things. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to put them all together. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? People get so used to doing the drill 
right? You're getting monotonous in it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That, that's what you do when you're sparring, okay? I'm like, in front of him, I'm looking, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh -huh. And you're wondering why the setups aren't working? Like, is it maybe he came forward on, on four or um, when you did five. You're like, man, I can't seem to get the whole footwork or when to attack. Because this is the drill. Getting you moving, getting your stamina up, your speed. Fighting, right? I don't have to do the drill when I'm fighting, okay? So if I cut the angle, oh, I don't have to cut back again, right? We might move around a little bit. Oh, five, six, seven, eight. I don't have to go right to one, two, three, four. So it's fighting. It's not the same as the drill. Okay, the drill is the drill. Fighting is fighting. I don't want to drill necessarily while I'm fighting, okay? So we're going to do it... Uh, 30 seconds for time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you're drilling this on the regular, I suggest that you do two minutes to start with. And you start changing the speed every 30 seconds. That means uh, first 30 seconds, I would go slow, kind of walk it out. Second 30 seconds, I'd speed it up. Third, I would be moving a little bit faster, almost match speed. Fourth, I would be moving like I was fighting in the ring, like I was matching, okay? Ready, go. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 One, two, three, Oh. Oh. Again, if you're drilling it all the time, two minutes, two minutes. Okay. Yeah. Now. I'm going to move Bob over here for a moment. We got a guy who likes the round kick. Got a little counter, sweet counter for a round kick. Now, round kicks. So I like to throw round kicks to the body, right? I want to check it, check it, okay? All right, my fingers together, my hands up, put my glove on. It looks like this. So palm in my hand to check it, okay? Those round kicks, I check as soon as I touch his kick. Okay, some guy's got like a little funky, like a horse. He has a little funky round kick. You make you think you're gonna go low with it, and it pops it high. You can block low, and then he hits you in the face. So you just gotta know your guys or figure out where they're gonna kick. If they throw him to the body, I check the kick. Check. As soon as I touch the, his foot, I'm going to turn and throw me a back kick right up here in the short ribs, okay? I'm not fully spinning. It's not a spinning side kick. It's not a spinning hook kick. It's just a turn kick. So I'm just gonna turn up, get my foot up, taking my heel right into the short ribs, right to the liver, okay? So again, watch. I'm not spinning around. My hips didn't come around. I'm just turning. So I'm just going to turn, pick my foot up, Put it right in that spot. Okay. Make sure you're doing the check. Take uh, Pablo, who just did the WKC workout. He and I did this drill. Seems like forever, forever and ever. Okay. So 
You want to tap, check, and then turn, throw the kick. Body stances, knees bent. I'm gonna do both sides just to show you what it looks like on both sides. Again, I check, hook. Again, check, hook. One more, check, hook. From the other side, didn't really do this side. I would hit him in the box, so I gotta turn this guy. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to check and then turn kick. Bouncing. All right. Check. Oh. Turn kick. Check. Oh. One more. Now, once I've done that turn kick a few times, right? I've checked and turned it, check, turn. They think that that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, oh, he's going to do that turn kick to me. They might drop their hand. So once I've done it twice, the third time, I'm going to do a spinning hook kick to the head. So you're working with your partners, you're going to do, right? Hook. One. Other side. All right. Hook. One. Hook. Two. Hook. Three. Okay. Okay. Just a drill to work. Just a little drill to work. Let's go over some spins for a minute. Why most people miss their spins is the chambers and they're not getting their bodies around. All my guys are spins like this, which is a wheel kick, not a spin kick. First thing I want to get around is my head on the target. Huh. Once I got eyes on target, pow, I bring my leg up just like a side kick. Okay? Getting that motion, right? Turn, kick. Turn, kick, okay? Spinning hook kicks are, are a little trickier. Okay, but you whip the kick. Side kicks, once you start getting the spin side, you got a spin side, you do a spinning hook kick. Turn, kick. Now, knowing that I have to be completely turned to get my kick off, sets in my muscle memory. When I'm doing them, I have to be completely turned around. Oh, to deliver my kill, okay? Um, spins, take a little longer to do. Jump, spins, a little faster. Hop, right? And you can jump and throw a little bit more power. You wanna watch jumping up in the air though. People hit you in the air, all your force is going into you, nothing is going into the ground. So again, a jump spin, right? It's a little quicker movement. Hop, right? Where spinning on your foot takes a little longer to do. You're practicing your spins, do about five, take a break so you don't get too dizzy. Okay. Now, let's see what time it's getting to be. An hour in, huh? All right, we're going to start closing it up. Do a couple of these drills I did the other day. Yes. Just to work on your speed of your drills, your hand. You can do any combinations that you like. These are just the ones I came up with. Doesn't matter. Some things you figure you'll figure out that work better than others. Some things won't fit real close together. You just gotta work with them and see which ones that you like the best. Okay. So I'm going to do first. I'm going to do a round kick, jab cross, jump back, back fist, kick fake, reverse, 
D side and a blitz. Okay. All right, going to round kick. Huh. Since I have to be closer to throw a round kick, you know, with my side kicks, I'm not pushing them off, right? When I land, I'm gonna be closer. So side kick, I mean round kick, man. When I land, jab, cross. From here, I'm going to do a jump back, back fist. Ah. Then I backed off the target. I'm gonna kick fake to get back closer, showing the bottom of my foot to the target. Kick fake, reverse punch, bam, come up, D side, cross away, blitz. Okay, so again, round, jab cross, jump back, kick fake, reverse punch, D side, blitz. Okay, one more time, nice and slow. Round kick, jab cross, bam, bam. jump back, back fist, kick fake, boom, body, D side. Oh, blitz. Okay. Ready. Hold on. So it's round. Jab cross. Jump back. Kick. Oh. D side. One. Oh. 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 Two. Oh, 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 three, oh, 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 four. That's one. Woo. <sighs> Next one is going to be low high round. I land, I'm gonna jump back. Right? Low high. Huh, huh. Jump back. Huh. Body. Huh. Shoot. Side kick. Huh. Back fist. Huh. Hook kick. Huh. Okay. So it's low high, low high, jump back, huh? body, huh? side, right, pop it, pop, go. Low high, huh? jump back, oh, body, side, pop, go. Again. Oh, 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 one more. Oh, 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 oh. Like I said, you put the combos together any way you like. I'm going to end today with. Chambers. Got chamber leg lift and a chamber hip out. Let me point the camera down this wall. Put my hand on the wall, nothing else. All right? Turn my base foot, toes to the wall. I want to get my chamber up. So hand on the wall, bottom of my foot. Hands out, ready to go. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thirty on your dominant side. Let's do fifteen on your good side. All right, good side, better side, right? We did 30 on our better side, 15 on our good side, right? One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Good. Next is our round kick, right? Hip out. So I'm not going to bring my knee back and forth. I'm just going to bring it back and back to the plane where it needs to be on. So get my head on the wall, my leg up, knee at the target. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thirty on our better side. Fifteen on your good side. Okay. Ready? Turn your foot, hand on the wall, I'm leaking all over my phone. Leg up, knee up, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Good job there. If you're Watching all these sparring workout, and let me know. Hit me up. Tell me what you like, what you don't like, maybe what you'd like to see. Um, a little feedback would be nice. Okay? Peace out. Oh, yeah. Happy Easter. <laughs>